Hey everyone, just got back from open sauce and wow, was it an amazing experience. Took me a few days to recover and my voice to recover, but I was really blown away by the interest in the Pika camera. So I just wanted to say thank you to uh, everyone that came up to my booth. It really means a lot to me to see people appreciate all the hard work that I've been putting into these projects. For those that don't know, I started the Pika camera project back in 2022 when I wanted to create a Raspberry Pi camera that could take high quality manual focus lenses from Leica. And so the Pika was born, Raspberry Pi and Leica. You can check out the original video somewhere up here to catch you up. But the original design had some issues. The lens mount almost immediately stripped out just because it was only made of plastic. The sensor that would sit in the back was hard mounted and was almost impossible to get infinity focus correct. And then it was also quite bulky and large and didn't really fit in a normal camera bag. So it was actually quite difficult to carry around. The new lens mount is now metal. So as you can see, it provides a much more secure connection to the lens and actually held up really well to all the abuse that I put it through. Uh, every time I show this camera off, I take off the lens and show to people. So after a few days at open sauce, it definitely went through the ringer. I also added the ability to adjust the sensor depth. So there's a knob on the back of the camera now that when you turn it, it actually changes the position of the sensor relative to the lens lens mount. So you can move it all the way back. It's a little hard to see here, but there it goes. Or you can move it all the way forward. This micro adjustment means that you can dial in focus for pretty much any lens mount that will fit on the camera. This also means that I can swap out uh, optical components or filters behind the lens without having to redesign the whole sensor mount. So we can play it around with things like the focal reducing lens or maybe uh, special infrared uh, filters. The micro adjustable sensor also allows you to turn pretty much any lens into a macro lens. That's because we can move the sensor all the way back and achieve almost like a microscope effect. We can also just use this micro adjustable knob to focus the lens. So you don't actually have to focus the lens on the lens. You can actually just move the sensor back and forth and focus that way. So it gives you a lot of options for dialing in precise focus. And as you can see, I have considerably slimmed down the camera design. This is the original. It's almost half the size. It's a little bit taller, but that was just to accommodate all, all of the com same components into the new design. I also wanted to make the design repairable. So originally I had used super glue to glue the 3D printed shells together, but now I am using heat set inserts with screws to mount pretty much everything together. This means that it is a very repairable camera. So if you break a 3D print, you can just reprint it and connect it back up. And that also includes the micro adjustable sensor carriage. All of the design info is up on my website, T and Tech Time. So go check that out if you want to start building your own DIY Pika camera. This design is still using the Pi 4 and the components from the original Pika camera. But now that the Pi 5 is out, I wanted to create a new design for that camera and its new abilities. So I also purchased a one inch sensor module for the Pi 5 and have a few other tricks up my sleeve for the new camera. So please subscribe if 
you want to get updates on that new design. Next up is going to be the build video for the Pika V2, where I will kind of go into detail on how you assemble everything. Thank you and see you in the next video.